Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art video, we thought it would be so fun to try something a little different. I'm sure you guys have seen the trend of YouTubers trying other YouTubers' tutorials. Well, today, Julie will be trying out Minnie's Beauty and the Beast tutorial. Hey guys, it's Julie. Now let's see if we can recreate this design. First off, we're gonna be starting with a base coat to protect the natural nails. Next, Minnie used a yellow polish and painted half of her pinky nail with it. I didn't have the specific shade of yellow Minnie used, and the one I ended up using was a little bit brighter than hers, but it works. Next, she applied a gold glitter polish over the yellow with a sponge, and I did have this exact gold glitter. It was actually from the Cute Polish by NCLA collection that came out last year. I dabbed the glitter over the yellow part to blend it out and give it a gradient look like Minnie's. Then we're gonna go ahead and top coat that. Okay, so far so good. Next, Minnie created a yellow shape inspired by the curve of Belle's dress. Here I'm using the brush of the polish and flipping it to create a bigger and smaller curve. Next, she used some of that gold glitter on a detail brush and outlined the shape of the curve and then added some rhinestones. Finish with top coat and that nail is done. Up to this point, I was feeling pretty confident, but now we're gonna move on to the intricate hand paintings. For the rose nail design, Minnie sponged the glitter on to get it fully opaque and then added a top coat to smooth it out. Next, she used black paint and created a small swirl in the middle of the nail. Then she added two C shapes on either side to make it look kind of like a bow. And at this point, I realized Minnie's beautiful nails are bigger than mine and I should have scaled things down to fit my square nail shape. And as you'll see, my rose did end up looking a little more cramped than hers, but it's on there. I added a couple leaves where I could, and then I started painting in the random lines for stained glass, and I added a black border around the entire design. Next, I mixed some of my yellow polish with clear polish to make the color more translucent, and I filled in the stained glass with that. Then I did the same thing with green for the leaves and red for the rose. And then I finished with top coat to smooth everything out. I was pretty proud with how this turned out. Not as good as Minnie's, but it still looked really pretty and the stained glass was a fun technique. Now this is the part where it all goes downhill. So to create Belle, I mixed up a skin color similar to the one Minnie used and I painted the outline of Belle's face. It was really hard to get the proportions right on my nail shape compared to hers and I also decided to flip the design on my nail because it was easier for me to paint it that way. Using dark brown paint and the tiniest detail brush I had, I sketched on her eyes which as you will see started off really wrong and kind of crazy looking. I added the nose which I also messed up immediately but the good thing about acrylic paint is that you can fix mistakes with another color. I couldn't get Belle's mouth right to save my life, and I ended up doing a lot of it off camera, then I just decided to come back to it later, so here I'm adding in the eyebrows. Next, I outlined her face and neck and then added in the hair. I have no idea how Minnie makes this look so easy. I tried painting the hairline in the fluid motion that she did and it just totally failed. Next, I'm adding in Chip, which was very cramped because of my nail size and shape, but I did the best I could. So then I tried to add blush with the sponge technique that Minnie used, and it looked awful. Maybe my sponge was the wrong size, but it just wasn't right. So I tried watering the paint down and doing like a wash of color. I ended up playing around with it a lot to get it to look sort of close to hers. 
The mouth was the hardest part of this entire design. I just couldn't get the proportions right and I went over it so many times. I felt like adding the teeth in made it look like she was wincing in pain, but in the end I just left it with what I had because the layers are getting too thick. Then I filled in her hair with a medium brown shade and added a lighter brown for highlights and then I went back over with the darker shade and fixed the outline. Then I added the brown to her eyes and attempted to fix her lips with a little bit of pink and lastly I added a reflection dot to the eyes. And here's the finished look. I think everything is passable except for Belle. It just doesn't have the same look that Minnie's does and I give serious kudos to Minnie for her artistry and technique. This was actually one of the hardest designs I've ever done and it took me four and a half hours to do. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by leaving us a thumbs up and if you'd like to watch more fun cute polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to a new cute polish video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click the circle here.